Now that we have a following system in place, we can start working on our homepage feed where we should see the tweets of the accounts we are following. Currently we are showing the default dashboard page component. Let's replace it with a controller action that returns an infinite scrollable list of tweets of the accounts we are following. So I'll go to web, look for the home route and replace this closure with a controller action. So we'll have home controller and the show method. Let's create the controller, import it, add the show method, and this will return an inertia rendered page. And we'll need tweets. And we need to return the tweets belonging to our current user, so tweet where and I'll pass a closure and query where user ID is auth ID or the tweets belonging to the accounts we are currently following. So we'll have or where in user ID and we can leverage the followings relationship on the user model. and block the ID. So this closure makes sure that we only return tweets belonging to our current user or the accounts we are following. We also need to include the likes count and whether our user liked the tweet. So likes as liked and we'll pass a closure and we'll check if user ID matches our currently authenticated user. Finally, we need to cast this liked attribute into a boolean. So we'll have with casts liked as boolean include the tweet user or tweet author. So with user order them in descending order by date, so latest, and finally paginate. Now let's open our home page component and remove everything inside it and grab some markup from our user profile page. So we can grab this part Replace this with home as a title and also everything in here and go here. And let's check our home page. Refresh. And here it is. We have a list of tweets. And if we scroll down, Invalid attempt to spread. This is because we haven't done the Ajax part. So we also need to uh, return regular JSON responses when the request wants JSON. So we need to accept the request. And if request wants JSON, we need to return the tweets. Let's put these into a tweets variable. So tweets let's check it now. Scroll down and we are loading new pages of tweets. Okay. Now, another thing I want to do is to remove some of the duplication caused by the infinite scroll. We have it in a bunch of places now. We have it on the home page, user profile, notifications, so go here, followers, same thing, and followings. 
I also have this here. It would be great if we can extract an infinite scroll component instead. So let's do it. I'm going to go into my resources folder, JavaScript components, create new file, infinite.view, template, and script. Export, default, object. Now if you go to our home page and imagine how we would use the infinite scroll component, we'll probably have something like this. Infinite scroll and the list of tweets inside it. Let's import the component. And if we think about it, we'll probably receive an event to load more tweets. So we'll load more and we'll call a load more tweets. Let's define a method. So we'll go here, add methods. And what this method will do is call the Ajax endpoint. So we'll do this. But it will only do it if we have a next page URL. So we'll copy this here. So if no next page, just return. Otherwise, make the Ajax call. Okay, let's add the load more event. So we need to send this event, emit this event from inside the infinite scroll component. So we'll have mounted and this emit load more. But of course, this event must be emitted only when we reach the bottom of the page. So we'll go back to home and grab all of this. Put it here. And instead of making the Ajax call, we'll just emit the event. Now let's go back to our home page and remove the mounted code and see if everything still works. So browser refresh and we already have an error. So oh, we need to add the slot inside the template. So we'll have div slot refresh again. And here it is. Scroll down. We are loading more tweets. The only problem I have with this is that we cannot add a loading more message. We could add it here. So we'll have loading more and some kind of boolean variables or loading and then toggle the variable value here but it would be nice if all that logic will stay inside the infinite scroll component the problem is that the infinite scroll cannot know when the request is finished because all it does is emit an event so we cannot know when this method has finished calling or making the Ajax request. A better way would be if we could send a reference to this method to our infinite scroll component. So instead of relying it to provide us with an event, we'll make it perform the actual call to the server. So load more will now be a prop. We'll have load more function and instead of emitting the event we'll call the function so this load more and call it and now we can have our own data with a loading property which will be false and we'll toggle it to true here so this dot loading goes through and here we have access to our promise so we'll have a finally this loading equals false and of course we can block the call if this is loading so if it's not loading we can load more records and I think we're done. Let me check. Hold more. 
No, we're not done, but let's try it out. Refresh. So property method loading is not defined on the instance, but reference during render. Oh, well, I think we still have, yeah, we still have this. Refresh again, and it works. The problem is that when we'll reach the end of the page, we'll get an error. The error we're getting has to do with the fact that we're not returning a promise when there is no next page URL. So we need to return an empty promise here. So promise resolve. And this will fix the issue with the loading because our infinite scroll expects a promise to be returned by our load more method. So we can display the loading message here. So let's have loading more and give it some padding. Center the text and text gray 600. And this will be visible if loading. Okay, let's check it out. So refresh, go to our network tab to slow down the internet speed. Scroll down and we have loading more. Okay, everything seems to be working. So let's see what else we can customize here. One thing will be the loading message. For example, on the homepage feed, I'd like to have it say loading more tweets on the notifications. I want to have it uh, say loading more notifications and so on. So let's customize this and we can do it by accepting another prop. So load more text to be a string. And let's actually set a default. So we'll have type string and default will be loading more. Can go here and say load more text or Let's actually name it loading more text or loading text, even better. Okay, go back, refresh the page. And we have the default. And let's check if our prop is working, which will probably be will. So we'll have loading text, which will be load or loading more tweets. back, refresh, go down, and we have loading more tweets. Okay, what else? Go back, we could also customize the threshold. We have here 200 pixels. We could also accept this as a prop. So let's say threshold, and do the same with the default. So will be a number and default 200. And I think that's it. Our final step is to apply this everywhere we need it. So everywhere we have an infinite scroll. Do a final test here. Yeah, it works. So let's go through our pages and apply the same thing. I'll grab this part, go to the user profile, here are the tweets, replace this one, import the component, add the load more tweets method, grab the access call, remove the mounted method, and add a check for the user tweets next page URL. Okay, let's check the user profile. So we'll go here. Slow down. It's working. Let's do the same for the notifications. Same. 
instead of loading more tweets, we'll have load more notifications. Let's import the infinite scroll component. Copy this, delete this, add methods. only have one notification but I'm sure the infinite scroll is working and the same for the followers load more followers load more followers import the component Add the method. And finally, for the followings, we'll have the exactly same thing. So we'll go here, paste this in. Grab this, place this one, load more followings. Import the component. Add the method. Return the access call. And I think we're done. Let's go to our followings and see if it works. Move to slow, loading more followings. And yeah, only two pages. And that's it. We've successfully replaced our duplicated infinite scroll logic with a dedicated infinite scroll component. Don't forget to subscribe if you found this screencast useful. Bye.